हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो माय सेल्फ रिपल गोले फ्रॉम एलजे पॉलिटेक्निक ऑटोमोबाइल डिपार्टमेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द कंसिडरेशन वाइल डिजाइनिंग द पिस्टन देर आर बेसिक सेवन कंसिडरेशन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड अंडरस्टैंड इट वन बाय वन फर्स्ट इज एनोरमोस स्ट्रेंथ इन एनी इंटरनल कंबशन इंजिन द मेन पावर इज डिराइव फ्रॉम द पावर स्ट्रोक due to the combustion process extreme temperature and pressure is generated right above the piston so to withstand against this extreme temperature and pressure piston must have enormous strength that is the first consideration the designer should take in mind the second is minimum mass because of the minimum mass piston overall weight of the reciprocating masses gets decreased and due to this balancing procedure becomes quite easy so with minimum mass piston engine can be balanced efficiently and overall efficiency of the engine gets increased so this is the main important consideration the third consideration is effective sealing in any internal combustion engine sealing between piston and cylinder wall must be effective if sealing between these two fails combustion gases will escape into the crankcase leading to power loss oil contamination sludge formation and in extreme condition it will lead to seizure of engine so sealing must be effective so this is our third consideration the fourth one is heat dissipation in order to maintain working temperature of the engine the heat generated due to combustion must be dissipated as quickly as possible heat flow in engine is generally from the piston to cylinder wall to coolant so piston plays a very crucial role in heat dissipation so for that material of the piston must have high thermal conductivity so that is the basic consideration heat dissipation the fifth consideration is silent operation any engine which is not silent or you can say too noisy in working condition is simply not considered as good engine so the design of the piston must be that effective that while in operation engine should work silently or you can say that operation must be must not be too noisy the sixth one is rigid construction we discussed about enormous strength minimum mass effective sealing good heat dissipation silent operation but if all this do not sustain for a longer time or maintenance cost for all this is high this design will not be considered as a successful design so construction of the piston must be rigid that it can maintain all the above mentioned characteristics with low maintenance so that is rigid construction the seventh and the last consideration is sufficient support for piston pin first of all piston pin is the part of the piston which connects piston and connecting rod piston pin is located in piston boss on which small end of the connecting rod is attached the thrust of the power stroke is transferred from piston to piston pin to the connecting rod thus piston pin plays a very important role in transmitting the power so to carry out this important function there must be sufficient support for the piston pin in designing of piston that's all for this video if you like the video please press like button and subscribe this channel for more videos thank you